uh, Facebook Live, and I was supposed to have my guest Carrie Green here today, and I don't know, she's still trying to get on. I had a problem, it was all my fault, um, because I am sick today, and I think I messed up the whole invite thing for the, <laughs> the dual person, so I totally apologize. Uh, Carrie has some great stuff to share. If you want to go over to CarrieGreenCoaching.com and get her free thing, um, it's Carrie Green with a with an E on the end of green. Uh, so make sure you go there. We're going to try to reschedule something, I'm sure, probably for next month. But I just wanted to give you a couple quick tips since you are, some of you did specifically want to know about some pricing things today. And in case you weren't aware, I'm Katrina Sawa and I'm known as the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach because I like to uh, kick people into gear into what they need to do in order to make a lot more money doing what you love. And I'm only gonna be on for a few minutes today because I really, uh, I'm not feeling good at all, which is probably why my, I'm having a brain fog on how to use this uh, system today. Um, so pricing, how do you price your stuff, right? Well, first of all, I recommend you have a variety of levels of pricing. So you have a low end, what I call an easy yes offer, something that someone says, oh my God, that's a no brainer. I totally want to check that out. Here's my credit card, right? So you want an easy yes offer, something under a couple hundred dollars, under a hundred is even better for them to try you out, experience you, you know, get to know you a little bit better through whether it's an audio training or a webinar or a Zoom like this or a masterclass or um, uh, some other maybe live event even. Uh, and then you wanna have a, a few maybe smaller products. You, you definitely wanna have like a signature program product or service in my opinion. Um, and that means uh, your signature is your, your branded product, program, or service. So, um, uh, your branded product program or service is uh, something that you created and it could be through training that you've taken like uh, for the longest time I had the ultimate marketing follow-up system and I still have a follow-up system it just happens to be inside my jumpstart your marketing system so my follow-up system is a branded uh, signature system and my jumpstart your marketing is a signature program product or service and then I have a jumpstart your biz 90-day program and then I have a jumpstart yourself as a speaker training now I've been around a lot in time I've been doing business for almost 16 years so of course I'm gonna start having a lot more trainings than some of you who might just be starting so don't freak out just pick one thing pick one thing that you want to train people on that you want to teach people about or that you know a lot about and can put into a a system or a program or maybe you can teach it live virtually or something like that or you can and then you can box it up into a home study right um, there's various levels of, of how to do a program so that you can create a home study or create a, a signature system that's recorded or something and you but I recommend you do it live first and get feedback from people and uh, while you're doing it so that you can maybe do it a second time <coughs> excuse me i should have had my finger on the pause button um anyways uh so i recommend you have it uh a signature system of some sort and that could be somewhere between 400 to maybe two thousand dollars it kind of depends on what you're doing and what the transformation is that you provide and then uh, i do recommend some higher end programs products and services now if you're someone who wants to have some one-on-one -on -one, uh, offerings that's great I think there's nothing wrong with one-on-one -on -one as long as you're priced right okay the people that say I don't want to do any one-on-one -on -one, they're probably not charging enough you're probably not charging enough so make sure you're charged for what you're worth and charge higher end okay so you might have the low end easy yes offer the middle of the road signature service or product or program and then you might have some more higher access uh, programs with you um, it could be a, a leverage program as well. Like I have a high-end mastermind program that's a, a five-figure investment and you could have something like that. And that's a group, but they also get me one-on-one, -on -one, right? 
So you want to figure out what you're selling first in your business because it's going to be really difficult to go out and market and try to have conversations with people to get them to enroll in your programs without really being super clear on what you're selling and what the prices are. So some quick tips on how to price. So let's just use an example of a coaching program, like a, a virtual coaching program. So say you're newer in business and you have an idea of what you want to teach. Uh, I'll use actually one of my clients as an example. She's, um, she's a, a, has a bookkeeping company, but she's also very skilled with forensic accounting and all kinds of really technical financial stuff, right? And she knows a lot about how to help somebody run a business from the operations and financial end of it all. And so she created her mascot system. It's a mascot business system. And, and so the, um, I don't have what all the acronym stands for, but mascot is an acronym for the six different things that she teaches, uh, in her program. And so right now we're actually designing it so that there's six things that she wants to teach. Now, what you want to do is you want to say, okay, well, each one of those six things need just one call with me, or does it need two calls? Does it need more of my time explaining on uh, training? Uh, do I want Q and A in there? Do I want um, some extra resources? Do I want a live event component, or do I just want it virtual? Do I just want to speak one way and not have it be interactive, and that's okay? Uh, do you want to offer a workbook or handouts with it, as well as have a live um, training uh, audio or video component? Right? Do you want to do just audio on the phone? and then maybe just give video quick tips, right? Whatever it is, however you wanna structure the program, it's all good. Do it the way you wanna do it, the way you think your people will wanna consume it. And then you have to add up all the time that you're gonna spend, right? So then you wanna price it based on, in my opinion, you, you price it based on what you would do with someone if it was one-on-one. -on -one. So if it takes 12 hours of my time, to produce this program, and my time is valued at $500 an hour, then, excuse me, I have to get a calculator out. <laughs> uh, 12 hours times 500 is $6,000. So the value of the program is technically $6,000. Now, there's other things you can do. So say your hourly is only about 150, right? So it's 12 hours times 150. And give yourself a raise here. This is where you want to give yourself a raise to uh, the retail rate. That doesn't mean that's the rate you charge everybody. It's the regular retail rate. Now it is good if you've gotten paid that before or that is a good regular rate for you and you can actually believe that that's a good rate for you, then that can be your regular rate. Um, you can still give discounts or give less expensive rates to people if you want to. Um, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. It's your business, right? But charge more in your regular rates. And then if you want to provide discounts or, or deals with people. So, but if you were rate, if your rate was around $150 an hour times 12 hours is $1,800 in value, a significant difference between that and 6,000, right? So how can we get you to increase your mindset and belief in yourself that you're worth more per hour so that we can charge accordingly for a program? Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to like charge $6,000. I might say the regular price is worth six, it's worth $6,000 if you did this with me one-on-one, -on -one, but because you're in a group, right? And there's 10 of you or whatever. So you guys get it at half off or you guys get $2,000 off or whatever you guys get that this deal, right? And it's still all group components. So you're still leveraging your time. So the other thing you can do with pricing is you can throw in other things. So say you want to throw in a workbook. Well, that could be valued at 300 bucks. Or you want to throw in three months of your regular membership program. Well, your membership program is worth $49 a month. Okay. So that's an extra $150 in value. So if you added the $150 plus the $300 to the 1800 that's an extra $450. So that's $2,250. So then your program goes from $1,800 in value to $2,250 in value. And you could maybe charge $1,997, right? Or you can charge $1,497 or something for this group program. 
So that's kind of how I work it out with clients. And then of course we, we charge as much as you can without stuttering. <laughs> so if you can't say 1497 yet, and you know it's still worth it, but you can't say it, then you're not gonna sell it. So you don't wanna price it at that. You might wanna price it at say 897. Whatever you can possibly say without stuttering is what I recommend. So this is kind of how I do my pricing structure with people. And so there's a little bit involved with the brainstorming of how you're gonna do your program, what's included, what is the value of it, and then working through your confidence to increase your worth a little bit, and then figuring out the dollar figure, and then what's the, what's the, what's the retail, what are you really gonna charge, what are you gonna do, how are you gonna sell it, is it gonna be on a sales conversation, one-on-one -on -one with somebody over the phone? Do you need to know what to do with that sales conversation? I'm, I'm really good at helping people navigate the wording on what to say and how to navigate the objections you might get, right, to different programs. So those are just some quick tips on uh, some pricing strategies and how I, how I do it with clients. And hopefully that's helpful. And I'm sure I'll be back with more. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, have some more tea and get better for the day. And you guys have a great week, okay? Thank you, Katrina Sawa. Oh, um, one last thing. If you are interested in figuring out what you're selling and doing all this stuff, I forgot, I'm doing a live event in April. And I do four live events a year, so if you can't come in April, please go to livebigevents.com, livebigevents.com, and check out which event you can attend. But the next one is all about love and money, how to get more love in your life and money in your business. So we do focus strategically on the love, I mean the money stuff, how to make more money, how to get more sales, how to really strategically put this cup into your business and your day-to-day -day activities so that you can make a lot more profit in your business without working so hard. So you can find out more about that if you go to livebigevents.com. It's right on top, the registration's open now. Um, if you look around Facebook, um, you might even see a special offer uh, this um, actually, if you put a note, if you're watching this on the replay, if you put a note in this chat and you want to know about the Love and Money event discount, special Facebook offer, please put event in the comments. Put the word event in the comments and I'll private message you a special link to get a discount, okay? Because right now it says $8.97 on the website. Um, but if you're watching this, then I'm going to give you a hell of a deal. So put the word event in the comments and I will um, message you myself. And please let me know if you have any questions or if you want to have a phone conversation. Uh, oh, the event is April 5, 6, and 7. It's in Sacramento, California. And I've been doing these for nine years now. And I highly recommend you get here. Change your plans, whatever you can. It's three days of really working on you and your business. So, all right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.